Hi, well hello, my name is Parker and I work here at La Parisima Mission State Historic Park. And I'm really excited to have all of you joining me today as we discover a little bit about California's rangelands and La Parisima Mission. And be that's because the landscape of California has rapidly changed over the past 200 years. This is due to the introduction of non-indigenous species which have greatly altered the function and role of our ecosystem. The California missions are the root of this introduction. And, well, these missions were established as means of survival to sustain the settlement and to provide economic gains. But as a result, we'll discover how La Parisimo mission played a prominent role in the alteration of California's landscape through the introduction of new species to sustain this settlement. We'll discover what resources did the Spanish use during the California Mission era? What factors play into their decisions to introduce these species? And what impact do these introductions have on our ecosystem? Well, speaking of La Parisima Mission, let's take a closer look at the places that we call rangelands. More specifically, the type of landscape that's found within the property of La Parisima Mission. Rangelands are important communities that provide a number of services. This includes the habitat, the food, the water and materials, and even to help regulate the climate. But this community is also important because of its beauty and for its ability for us to go and have fun and recreate in it. And these rangelands have a number of different ecosystems. This includes grasslands, woodlands, prairies, wetlands, deserts, and even chaparral, which is one of the key ecosystems that we see here at La Parisima Mission. La Parisima Mission is located within the Parisima Hills within the transverse ranges of California. What that means is these mountains, they run from the east to the west. And our area receives approximately 16 inches of rain per year. And this region is primarily dominated by our chaparral ecosystems. Well, and we're really close to the coast. We're only about 10 miles from the coast. So all of that fog comes in and it provides moisture for all of these different plants that we're seeing surrounding me. Uh, and that reminds me too, our region is characterized by a mild, somewhat moist winter and, well, a warm, dry summer, which creates a Mediterranean climate. This region is also very unique as it serves as a transitional zone where the plant species of Southern California meet with the chaparral communities from Northern California, right here at La Parisima Mission. The California missions were established based on economic, political, and religious motives. Throughout the process of colonizing California, a number of species were introduced by means of the cattle and agriculture. One such species is that of the great broom, Great broom is an introduced plant species to California and was likely done so during the mission era. Another species is that of Arundo donox, which was introduced by the Spanish as a building material. And finally, we have species such as the coast barley. The coast barley was introduced by the Spanish and was grown during the mission era as an important agricultural crop. In 1817, La Parisma Mission produced 600 fanegas, or Spanish bushels, of barley. In terms of animal species, cattle were introduced to California by the Portola Expedition of 1769. We'll be discussing more about the importance of cattle later on in our exploration. In addition, the Navajo churro sheep were brought to California. The wool industry became the third largest industry at La Prisma Mission behind agriculture and cattle, with an average of 12,000 sheep 
at the mission. Between 1816 and 1820, La Prisba Mission averaged 126 swine in their inventory. Today, pigs remain a threat to agricultural ecosystems throughout California. Sadly, these species and more were introduced and play a role in the alteration of California's biodiversity. A number of impacts can be observed. This includes the crowding of indigenous species, impacts on the health of our soil, increased consumption of water, oh, and the alteration of our microclimate, and the loss of traditional food sources. The cattle and other animals at the mission greatly impacted the environment. Although it is equally important to understand the economic necessity of the cattle and ranching operations at La Parisma Mission. Father Mariano Pires writes in the report of the status of La Parisma Mission on December 31st, 1822. Cattle. There are 10,000, including 150 yoke of oxen, 50 of which are equipped. Cattle were used as a food source. Products such as meat, milk, butter, and even jerky were made from the cattle. The hides of the cattle, rawhide, was also utilized as a trade item. Rawhide was prepared by cleaning, scraping the skin of the cow, and then the hide was stretched in order to dry. Salt was added so it would not rot. Once the hide was beaten with sticks, it is stored the rawhide was used at the mission to create riatas, ropes, ardagas, shields, and even straps for the roofing. The hides were then taken in caretas like this to the trade ships along the coast. These trade ships would take the number one trade item from the mission back to the east coast of the United States to Boston to be made into shoes and for belts to power equipment. Due to their tremendous value, hides were known as the California dollar. In the early 1800s, hides were worth approximately one dollar. A final product produced at the mission is that of leather. Leather is used to create shoes, bags, saddles, and many more products. stinky and smelly process of making leather was done here at the tanning vats. This is where the hides were soaked in a tannic acid solution that is made from oak bark and acorns. And here, this is where the hides were tanned for several months. A good hide would take upwards of a year to be tanned, but here at the mission, they rushed the process due to their tremendous economic value. Above all, the establishment of La Parispa Mission calls for the alteration of California's natural landscape. The entire ecological community changed with the introduction of new plant species and animal species. Grasses are one of the primary species introduced to California. Livestock, especially the cattle, serve as the key animal species introduced to the region, livestock proves to have a detrimental impact on the natural community and continue to have a lasting impact on the nature and society in California. Above all, the introduction of livestock and plant species during the mission era is illustrated by the activities, events, and experiences found at La Parisima Mission.